welcome back to another episode of the Speedy Deanies. Now I messed up, this is episode 4, didn't realise it was a sprint weekend. I skipped through qualifying because I thought it was a practice session and I've ended up in P18. Then I went into the sprint, realised I was starting P18, tried to, you know, restart the weekend. You can't do that. So I'm starting in P18 for the sprint. Obviously not great, but we're going to have to live with it. I'll just have to obviously make sure I'm checking what's going on. It's because the last F1 game, there weren't sprints. So you didn't have to look out for it. And that is an awful start. Which means we're now down in 21st. However, a brilliant dive, so a terrible start, but then a brilliant dive puts us in P16. So we've made up a couple of places already. Little bit of damage here, right, we'll, we'll try that corner again. I can't help but feel like he didn't give me room. I mean, I am diving down the inside, which is probably, a, probably my fault, but... Right, P14. Can't help but feel like this is going to be a long weekend with a sprint and then the whole race, but we've made up some places, which is obviously very good. Let's try and get a good exit out of there. Let's turn on the ERS, see what we can do. We seem to be gaining on Schumacher. And he's, he's crashed into us, but we've made the place. We haven't taken damage, so that is all okay. That was just terrible. Right. When we get DRS in the third lap, we're probably not going to... Well, when it's turned on, we're probably not going to be getting it because Ricardo is escaping from us. However, you know, if we can get as high up the grid for the actual race on the Sunday, then that's fine. I don't really care about this sprint. I just need to... You know, I don't care about the points from it. We just need to try and get into a decent position so we can try and get points in the race. Leclerc setting another fastest lap. Turn on our ARS to defend from Sonoda. Uh, might be a bit difficult to defend. Force him on the outside. We thought twice about it. Defending well from him, to be fair. We gave him enough space. Defended the position, but we're just slipping even further away from Ricardo, so we we are gonna be attacked for the rest of this race now from Sonoda behind. Pulled a little bit away there. Oh, 
going to have to use our ARS down this straight every time I've hit the wall because I was too busy looking behind me. Snowders just dropped right back, I'm not sure why. We've pulled out of the DRS. That could be a pretty decent sector too, to be fair. We are gaining on Ricardo as well, but he is just too far down the road. But Sonoda has really dropped back. That was a pretty good lap from us there. Final lap here. Unless there's a collision up front, we're not gaining any places. We've just got to be sensible. Ricardo's got away from us again. Can't sound surprised. I think Leclerc has got the most possible points this year, apart from one where we got fastest lap. Which is just ridiculous. He's won every race. 13th from 18th in a sprint. Five laps. Five places. I'll take. Driver of the day as well. Very nice. Probably are going to lose five places off the line with our terrible pace, but. Yeah, Leclerc first, Verstappen second, which is what's happened in every race so far. And it happens in the first sprint of the season. And now it's time for the actual Grand Prix around Imola. Let's drop that a little bit. Race strategy, soft, medium. We'll go for a medium, soft instead. Because I think a lot of people will be on softs. Yeah. So if we can try and hold position here, could really work out for us. We lost one place already to Sonoda, but that's okay, because it's only one. And we've just made up some places with 10th. What a dive that was. Oh, got a bit close to Ock on there, but we've passed Bottas as well. Bit of a poor attempt of a move there on Ocon, but 
Bottas has hit us. Probably didn't give him enough space, but... This is more than likely where we just fall behind the people ahead of us now. Already a second, over a second off Ocon. I feel like I'm not very good at making up time around him or either. I'm not one of my favoured Grand Prix. He's just took about three tenths, four tenths on the straight. And we've went extremely wide. And now uh, we, we've just lost a second just on that little corner there alone. So I don't think we're going to see Ocon for a while. Over the sausage curbs accidentally. There could be a collision in front of me or just traffic. A bit of battling, that would be nice. What's our engine looking like? Gearbox is a bit knackered. Other than that, everything's okay. Could not get that to stick. Now Magnussen is right on us. These cars behind us have got a lot more pace. It's the straight line speed that I'm just really lacking. Magnussen. Are you going to take the corner? I don't get why he's not taking the corner. I gave him space. Look, I'm on the outside. There you go. It's exactly what I did last time, and he turned into me. Magnuson has so much more speed than us, but I've just turned on my ARS, and it looks like it's helped quite a bit. Pull that a second on Magnuson now, altogether, but with 3.3 .3 seconds off Ocon, he is gone. Went deep again. And it puts Ocon back, uh, Magnuson back on our tail. Oh, why does it keep telling me to go to fourth gear? Magnuson's back on us again. He's doing the same move again, or attempting it. We run wide, but it's fine. I'm not liking this at all. Really struggling. up a little bit of gravel that's a very poor lap nearly went into the barrier then oh 
onto the grass. We stay ahead of him. There was a little collision there. Ocon now five seconds ahead of us. We are not getting anywhere near anyone ahead of us. Extremely wide there. Wide again on the gravel. People pitting ahead of us, and we are far enough ahead of Magnuson. Which puts us into P5. I wish Magnuson would have stopped as well, because then he'd come out in a bit of traffic. We've got some clear air ahead of us. We could get a bit of a bit of a nice gap. Although he might pit with all of them. Next lap. We'll probably only have Ocon ahead of us at one stage, depending on how far Leclerc is ahead. We've actually, you know, kept a good, a nice gap between ourselves and Magnus in this race so far. He's now catching, right towards the end of the lap. I think he's going to end up out of the DRS, yeah. Oh, he's pitting anyway. So just Ocon and Russell, medium runners ahead of us. Sonoda and Schumacher on us, they're going to be pitting this lap. That was very wide. Have we got a nice turn in because we ran very wide? It's uh, put Sonoda even further behind us. Nearly four seconds behind us now. Making up the time when he can get to a uh, full speed on a straight, but it's because our car's just a bit slow. Imagine they're all going to pit now. Yeah. And our teammates in the pits. That was our best lap then. Right, five seconds to the car in front, seven to the car behind. Leclerc's only seven seconds behind us. He's obviously 
net P1. Not great around there. Although Russell might actually be, I don't know, like 23 seconds there between Leclerc, Ocon, Russell, and obviously me. But between Leclerc and Russell, sorry, there's about 23 seconds. Although it is coming down because Leclerc is catching me. Oh no, it is still pretty much 23 seconds. So maybe Russell's P1. That would be interesting. I don't know how long a stop is at Imola. Can I see where I'll come out if I pit? Leclerc is very much catching me. Okay, so he tells me I'm actually fighting Ocon and Albon today. I'm third, that's who's second and fifth. I'm not really fighting against Ocon. I guess I am, because he'll probably be the next driver ahead of me. Oh no, because... Oh no, Albon's on mediums. I was going to say he hasn't pitted. So he's on mediums, so that's okay. Oh, that's my bad again. Although I have said I will be flashbacking for the pits because I don't know where the line is. That was very slow, but it's fine. Ocon is just ahead of us. That's optimal. Let's go. Thank you. Faster than we were expecting, nice. Perry's just went ahead of us. Oh, Magnuson's went ahead of us. He was behind us last time out. Ricardo trying, Norris even trying to fly down the inside of us, and it's made us go very wide, and now, uh, Magnuson's got a little bit of a gap to us. So we've actually came out worse off. These soft tyres are absolutely like struggling. It's so cold. I, uh, I, every time I come out of the pits, I always do this. I miss my braking points. Well, no, I hit my braking points, but they've changed because the tyres are cold. But I'm on softs, Magnus on mediums. Hopefully I can hunt him down. 10 to 15 minutes, we won't be racing then, so it's fine. All right, now that Norris has stopped touching me, hopefully I can get a bit closer to Magnuson. Potentially go for a move, not now. Hopefully next lap, I'll have DRS on this straight. Oh, 
That's over a sausage curb. Mm, sort of sausage curb. But it's never good to go over them. That was better. Made up some time there. About f four tenths. But it's in the straight. They get out, everyone gets out the corners so much better than they. However, we're right on Magnuson now. Go over that curb. Run a bit wide, but we caught up to Magnuson. I mean, if Norris hadn't have done what he did, probably would have caught up to Magnuson last lap. But now we're really in the hunt. I've just set the fastest lap of the race. That is surprising. Ocon's on hard and he's been overtaken by Perez. That was stupid of me. I wasted quite a bit of time getting that move done then, but I didn't want to be stuck behind him for another lap. Right, P9. Four seconds off Perez. We can see him there in the distance on his mediums with Ocon ahead on the mediums, so on the hards. So if they're battling, Ocon, I'd, I'd imagine Perez will overtake Ocon, which would mean Ocon could fall into our hands as well. And we might finally get that overtake on him. Because he's went medium hard, surprisingly. Although we do seem to be catching Perez. Again, because we're in clear air and they're battling. That was poor. And it wasn't good because it's the last corner running into this main straight. So we're going to lose a lot of time now. Perez and Ocon, I think they must have went side by side or something. And Ocon won the battle, but it's kind of good that Ocon won the battle because we want Ocon ahead of Perez for as long as possible because it means more battling. As soon as Ocon releases Perez, I think uh, I think it's over. I don't think Ocon will catch him back up. So we want them battling. And with two and a half laps left, Have we got enough? We're going to have to catch it like a second a lap, so I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, I shouldn't have downshifted then. We are catching. We really are. thing is, Perez is getting DRS, but that's kind of good. I don't mind. It means Perez can get a move done, which he's trying again. But he hasn't got done again. We're catching, but I don't think we're catching quickly enough. We could do a DRS on the main straight and Perez and Ocon going side by side into the corner. We are really catching Perez now. Into the chicane, we can catch even more time. Exceeded track limits, but it's fine. We're within DRS. I 
I mean, he's also going to get pulled along by DRS, Perez will, so... But Ocon could be a sitting duck here. Ocon's blocking him. They've went side by side, I've joined the party now. Oh, this is final lap. That is not smart at all. We've just slowed down Perez in his battle with Ocon and slowed ourselves down as well. Not the smartest thing to do. Leclerc wins the race and we have messed this up against Perez massively. We're right on him but we got too excited and we've just got a three... I'm sorry for all these flashbacks but I am just... I'm tired and I'm stupid. Can't really see what we did wrong. Yes, we've went out the lines, but we haven't really gained anything, so it's fine, surely. I did have my chance to get Perez, but I royally messed it up. <laughs> we just tried to push it round a corner that it couldn't go round, but it's fine. We end the race, we finish ninth. Tried a dive bomb on Perez, probably at the wrong time. It messed him up against Ocon as well. Could have done with about two more laps in the race and then I wouldn't have rushed the move. Yeah, if there are two more laps there, I feel like I could have, could have gained on Ocon or both because they were slowing each other down. But, oh well, uh, we get points. Yeah. I was confused then, but yeah, we get points again. Only two points, but they're points. Leclerc with the race as well. First up and second again. Ninth place. We take that. We hundred percent take that. That's a that's a good good weekend. Considering how poorly we qualified as well in eighteenth. That is very good for us. Activities, do some racings. Bit of that. Bit of weight training as well. Then we can take a look at the R&D. Spark plugs failed, of course. So we'll have to go back in for the spark plugs. They will be done before the next Grand Prix. Nice. Miami is next. Interesting. Front nose is... Oh, it's failed. Everything is failing for us. So frustrating. Why is everything failing on us? Spark plugs are okay. second time round. Oh, they can't fail, can they, second time round? But thank God. Fuel efficiency, ERS, engine power. We could do with waiting, to be fair, for that. Although it's going to take a while. But we need to get that in as soon as possible. So. We can't invest any money, everything's too expensive. Are we able to? We are. Had a possibility of a sponsorship this whole time. Well, probably the last two races and we haven't had it. I'm not going to do that. Eighth or higher.
Okay, let's sort by weekly income, looks good. We're doing this at the moment, achieving a top 10 finish every race. How about this one though? Score three constructors points, eighth place finish. I think it's gotta be that. We'll go for it. Gotta get eighth place finishes. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So, that is the end of episode four. We're sitting seventh still in the championship, 25 points, which is obviously very good, considering we only just came into it. We're fifth in the constructors, very nice. Because, I mean, being ahead of those six teams, it's quite surprising when you look at the R&D. We're only ahead of Aston Martin and Williams for how good our car is. So, to be ahead of all these teams, He's very good. We're ahead of Aston Martin and Williams. They're both on zero points. But Alpha Tauri, nothing. McLaren, three. Alpha and Haas, five. And we're at 25. So it's going very well there. So far, we have finishing the points every time. A sixth, then a fourth with the fastest lap. And then two ninth place finishes. We're dropping a bit, but it's still points. We take it in our first season. Charles Leclerc won every race. Verstappen second every race. Those two... Are probably going to be doing that all season. Although I'm surprised Verstappen hasn't won one yet. But that's the end of the episode. Miami next time out. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more F1 content.